We arrived at the racetrack. Car is ready. Tires are warm. Car is with full tank. And there is so many people on the racetrack. And the racetrack is wide open and we are ready for some action. Change the regulations concerning the air boxes and the wings, and yet you're still extremely fast. How do you do it? Big balls. Oh God! Yeah, guys, and welcome to Apex Online Racing uh, round number five. <laughs> round number five, guys. So far, really, really exciting and really good season of AOR, guys. I'm in Aston Martin, and it's been tons and tons of fun. And today, 
We are doing poor record, which I'm gonna be honest, I kinda like in ACC, but it's really difficult VOP track. And I'm in the Aston today, which is like a full wing car. And so it's a whole different experience. And I will say, my pace, I don't wanna jinx it, my pace, especially in the race trim, is looking good. Very good for today, guys. Very good. Like, I was really fast in the race stream. Not as fast as Valley and Aston, but really fast. Like, faster than Luke, faster than Aiden and so on. But there's a big catch that actually just happening, guys. We just joined the race server. And uh, its quality and practice is different day. But it's raining in 10 minutes. So another one. Another one, man. Oh, my God. Man. Adam, I feel you, bro. I'm going to exactly the same right now, mate. Almost exactly the same. So, we can do this, mate. We can do this. We can do this, mate. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys are great. I hope everyone is great. I hope everyone having a great time, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be good. I think it's going to be really, really good. Uh, because the pace is looking good. The car is looking good. But the rain is coming in. And, which is good. I would actually prefer rain. A little, like a mixed conditions. Because the Honda is really fast in the rain, but in terms of like dry pace in a race, we have a really strong car, you know? So looking, looking forward, looking forward. Uh, you know what doesn't look good? My pace in Porsche 991 GD2 car? GD2 car? Uh, Jonathan, it's not you. It's the GD2, mate. It's not you, mate. <laughs> It is, it, is, it is you, mate. Uh, <laughs> it is not you, it's the car. <laughs> the GT2 Porsche and the GT2 cars has the worst bop you can imagine. So, the, it's not you, mate. If you don't like the Porsche, it's not your problem, mate. It's not, it's not, your, like, it's not your fault, mate. It's not your fault, guys. There's rain coming down in 10 minutes. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go, man. Hey, Adam, go hit the gym. Go hit the gym, mate. Go hit the gym. That's that's uh, one good thing I can recommend you. <laughs> and and sim race and sim race. Hello Vincent. Hello hello hello. So yeah, that, guys. The thing is that so we have a 48 minutes left on practice before the qualification starts, but the quality is different day and the race is different day. So we have no idea what the weather will be. So that's really good. And today's race is a 90 minute 90 minute race today. So um, yeah, like, let's let's just be honest, guys. Let's just be honest. Um, my pace in a dry was like top four pace in a quali, top three pace in a race pace, which is pretty damn good. Uh, but if it's gonna rain, it might be even better. You know, we'll see. How's my weight loss journey going? Hey, I, I mean, it really depends how motivated I am. But I'm really motivated for like past two months, and um, I'm gonna tell you what. Um, I'm gonna tell you what. Um, I'm always like, like, let's say two months. I'm I, I'm gaining because I'm eating like a pig, and then for another two months, three months, I go go down. But from last year until like literally today, when I weighed myself today, I am 90, 18 to nineteen, something like that, eighteen, nineteen kilograms down overall, if I calculate correctly. I was 135, now I'm 117, 16 approx. So uh, yeah, 18, 17 kilograms down, eight, 17 to 19 kilograms. But I'm like really like working out now. What I'm actually doing a lot now is because obviously it's not winter anymore. I'm going for like a huge walks. So I like I go to a gym, I do cardio, and then I go for a 10 kilometer walk with my dog. So not only my dog is super happy, and it also helps me a lot to clear my head and everything. So it's really really good, guys. What is the quality in 46 minutes? Yo, thank you. Thank you for that. Are the shoes on, I suppose? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. GT Omega chair. I have a XLRS seat. So I have an XLRS, which is my favorite seat. Uh, because. Um, because. Um, it's like, I like comfort, you know? Like, there's a lot of those bucket seats and such. But I like really comfort where I can like spread my legs and just sit like like this and, and stuff and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And uh, this XLR seat is very good for it. But important to say, uh, GT Omega has the bucket seats now. They have a they have a bucket seats now, 
and um, uh, I will t test them. I will test them. You know. Yo, Adam. Uh, what can fish? <laughs> don't worry, Adam. Don't worry, me. Let's do this. Right. Time to go on a track before it's gonna rain. I definitely need to check how the car will behave on the rain conditions. So I'm gonna actually put like 20 liters of fuel. Let's see. I like to spend my life. I know it sounds bad, but <laughs> I, I meant like I just like to have free space. You know what I mean? Like because when you have the bucket seat, you have the seats like legs like this, and you cannot move them too much. But if you just wanna like go around, you could just do this. You know. I'm a large guy, so I'm looking for this chair. Yeah, I mean, if you're a large guy, like, hey, I'm 188 and I'm uh, quite large. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I would say definitely, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, I mean. But I'm a camo, that's problem. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, yeah, like, I, uh, I will definitely, I will definitely try. Hey, UK! Hello! Want your legs to be wide. <laughs> oh my god. Room to maneuver. Yes, yeah, so my, you know, my um, equipment can breathe. You know what I mean? <laughs> you need a bucket R's for bucket C. Exactly, yes. Oh, Vincent, that's perfect, mate. That's exactly, exactly true. Exactly true, Adam. Ex uh, Vincent, exactly true. What say did you? Did you enjoy Prague? It was beautiful weather. It was beautiful weather as well, so I hope you enjoyed it, mate. And like, it was really hot over the weekend. It was like 17 degrees on Sunday or Saturday? No, Friday. And then today it was like minus one and then seven during the day. But it was very nice sunny. I went with my dog for like a massive walk and she was happy, I was happy, so that's the most important. Yeah, Adam, mate, same. No problem, mate. No problem. If you're on we Discord, if you meet Daniel. <laughs> Yo, Matthias! Nine months! Thank you very much! Thank you very much, guys. I hope I will drive a better today than yesterday. Like, yesterday my head was absolutely in a different place and, um, and uh, mistakes happened. Today my head is in a really bad place still, but um, it's a little better. So, um, Hopefully it's gonna be okay, guys. I think the gym today helped me because I I, I, I was sweating on a treadmill for like an hour, and then I went home, took my dog, and went for like two hour walk. And I like I, I took so much clothes, so I sweated everything out. That uh, it helped me a bit in terms of like clearing my head. My favorite truck car in ACC. Obviously, my favorite is a McLaren 720S Evo, and car, uh, sorry, track is a Mud Parama. But in two weeks, guys, in two weeks, there's gonna be no Schleife. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna talk about it right now, sorry. Oh, 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 here we go. I don't talk about some private thing, so uh, I, I will keep it for myself for now. I'm gonna be okay, guys. Come on. I'm ready. No, 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 don't worry. It's all good. Uh, Michael, yeah, yeah, she is. Gabby had a good holiday, yeah. Let's see how this baby behaves in the rain. No April Fool's in the No, 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 it's a legend, it's a legend. Have you guys seen what they did with the curb on Neuschlafe? We were showing it yesterday, it's crazy. Oh, come back there, mate. Uh, Alexis, we don't know yet. We actually don't know. Like, it says Nürburgring Pack DLC, right? So what I person, so what I believe, what I believe... Okay. Let me do a little bit of hope, hope for you. Right. Sorry guys, I'm driving in AOR right now. Um, so, in two weeks, we're gonna get a Nordschleife in ACC. Releasing 1st April, which is like April's full, right? So a lot of people are like, oh my god, no, it's a joke. No, I I'm sure there's a reason for it. 
because every DLC for ACC always released on Wednesday. But I'm sure there's a reason why they have to release it on, on the first. It's probably something because of the license or stuff like that. Uh, I have a big hope here again. Again. Like we had the red. Hey, I was right with the Red Bull Ring, okay? And and I was almost right with the Red Bull Ring and the GT2s and such. But I have a big hope here with the Nürburgring because the it's called Nürburgring Pack DLC. Now, that can mean so many things. That can mean so many things. Uh, it can be the Neutrafer 24 layout track, and it can be 2024 liveries, right? And that's that's it, right? But I feel like the the name Pack DLC makes it a little bit more. Um, there is something more going on, and I have several things that I think might happen. What I think number one is like my biggest hope here. It's gonna be Nibrokring Pack DLC. Because it's gonna be 24 hour North Shuffle layout plus updated Nürburgring GP track. And if we are lucky, there's gonna be Aston Martin GD3 Evo and deliveries or stuff like that. Uh, my another hopium, a little bit less, is that it's the Nürburgring pack DLC. It's gonna be North Shuffle 24 hour layout and maybe Aston Martin Evo or stuff like that. Uh, I don't believe I, I i think like 100 we will not get a corvette like i feel like that's 100 because it's not racing in europe and uh we haven't got any previous versions or anything like that or any like anything re regarded so i don't think it's gonna happen i feel the chance of getting mustang is very very small but i wouldn't say it's not possible i think the aston from all the cars that are 2024 is probably the most Possible because it's driving in the Europe series, it's driving in the GT World Challenge, and so on. Uh, the Mustang, there was some issues with like, and, and now they are driving again with the Mustang, so it's like maybe yes, maybe not. But I would say, like, I still would say it's a very high chance. Mustang, very slim chance, and I think the Corvette is like almost zero, you know. But I feel like the pack means that it's gonna be either like a liveries or stuff like that. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know, guys, what do you, what do you guys think? Uh, or what would you like to see in the Nürburgring pack? Like, I would say Dacia, right? Fuck the Mustang. Give me Dacia or Oppo Manta. <laughs> you know? No, no, no. But uh, seriously, no. I feel like I feel like the reason, because like the, the thing is, the Nibruk, they we have the Nürburgring GP track in the game, right? But, but for the 24 layout and everything, and with the like sponsorships and everything, they will probably have to update the track. So there are some little changes with the curbs, like some different changes around the track and so on, and connect it to the G to, to the North Shuffle, right? So that's why I think there might be like Nürburgring GP track and Nürburgring 24 hour North Shuffle GP track, like a combination. So I'm really, really curious how it's gonna be. And with the cars as set, yeah, I, I've like, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I, I honestly personally think, um, I personally think we we have a the biggest chance I think we have a biggest chance to get Aston Martin, a little bit less I think is the Mustang, and almost like I think honestly unfortunately I think it's like almost none is the Chevy, you know, but yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see guys I'm very very curious. Also the reason why I think it's gonna be packed with two tracks is the reason that there's gonna be like a GP track and North Shuffle track and it has to be 2024 even though we already have the North Shuffle so I think it's gonna be like a free included with the GP track like updated you know so uh no Sabre I didn't know but I had a great pasta I, I cooked some really good food <laughs> so I will see I will see uh, I'm gonna be back in a second guys I need to grab a drink
Sorry, apology. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, guys. I wanted to say that. Uh, so, so what I was saying uh, that um, I want to try to drive on a dry Darius now, just to see how bad it feels, in case we have some variable weather in the race. So I just want to like see how how really bad it feels. Even in the light rain, I think it might be the wet Darius better. But I just want to see if it's drivable, just in case. So about AC, what about ACC after AC2 releases? Mate, that's impossible to say. That's something we don't know. I mean, hey, games come and go. I do sim racing for 20 years, so I know what I'm talking about. So I would say definitely that uh, if there's going to be better sim than ACC, like in terms of AC2 or stuff like that, I will probably play that. But hey, so far I wasn't convinced. <laughs> My hair looks horrible, sorry. Yo, Tyrone! Okay, the dry towers are very bad in this. It's very cool. Oh, okay, yeah. The dry towers, if it's raining, no bueno. No good. No good. Hey, a little, yeah, 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 a little bit. Where's the AC2 releasing? So apparently there's gonna be... Apparently, it was supposed... So it was supposed to release early access in the summer. But there was an article where they said because of the Nordschleife they had to postpone or like uh, delay a bit but they I don't think they said exactly when so I think this year we might get AC2 early access Right, dry towers, not possible in this I mean you can drive them but they're very slow We have a premium member here <laughs> Yo Tyrone, thank you very much for 21 months, thank you and almost, thank you so much. Welcome to the team. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, Saber, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I mean, it depends on... Mate, like, the thing about ACC... Like, think, like think, I think ACC already, like, a year and a half ago should have stopped getting updates as the original plan. But the game is still so popular that they keep updating it. I mean, not that often, but at least they're updating it. So I personally think that, I don't know, uh, maybe the Shuffle will be the last DLC, but I guess we'll have to find out. It's very hard to say, right? It's, there's like so many things that we, like obviously as a players, we want the game to continue and get the updates, but at the same time you have the licensing, you have the deals, you know? Don't forget, it's like the SRO and ACC is like a big, big contract. And isn't actually SRO getting con contract with the iRacing? I think I read it somewhere, did I? But I, I don't know if I read it or not, but isn't, isn't SRO getting, giving the license to iRacing? Or am I, am I mistaken? So I feel like if ACC will not have the license of SRO, then they will stop updating it. So I guess we'll have to, I guess we'll have to find out, guys. You know what, I'm actually looking forward to play Lemon's Ultimate again. I haven't played it in like week and a half. And uh, I'm really looking forward to play again. I just didn't have a time guys, it was away and then hard week and so on, so... Right, 204 have been 5 seconds slow per lap. 5 seconds slow per lap on a dry tires and wet, okay. It's important to know, in case there is like a bad weather. Whatever happened to Manicore? I mean, so the Manicore, so, um, so the year, I, I, what year was it? Was it two, 2020 or 2021? Um, so the year where uh, GT World Challenge was racing on Manicore, Imola, and New Zandvoort was during COVID, if I remember correctly. And uh, there was the information from Kunos, because they are Italians, that because of that they could not laser scan Manicur or like get the Zandvoort. So they did Imola. And I think it was the DLC we got Imola. It was like November, I think, or something. And, and we have, we, have we, we got the, yeah, we got the, the update, you know. 
Right, let me just try on all my tires now. I need to figure out the pressures a little bit. Uh, it was a bit complicated, guys. It was like a big history of the ACC. I think the COVID like like helped ACC a huge time, but also hurt it in some ways, you know. But I think uh, generally it helped a lot because the ACC got so popular thanks uh, to COVID. I think it actually saved the game and prolonged its life a, a lot. Also, guys, thank you so much for leaving like. And what's it, by the way? The quality starts in 30 minutes. The AOR streams I always start when the practice starts, you know. Yeah, I'm very sad we didn't go the money core in uh, IRA, uh, ACC. Such a cool track. I've been there last year, it was epic. Right, that's 29 minutes. My pace is looking very good, guys. If you just join the stream, during the free practice in a dry track, I was in the top three, top five, in terms of pace, and in a dry race pace, I was actually top three fastest. So my pace looking very strong today, not as strong as Valor, but to my defense, I'm just, uh, my head is not, my head is not here, you know what I mean? I, I, uh, I, uh, my head is not here, guys, but uh, it's gonna be fine in a couple of weeks, I hope. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. Fine, let's see what we can do. I can't, how do you guys like Paul Ricard, by the way? I must say, ACC taught me, ACC taught me to like Paul Ricard. Like, I didn't, I always, I hated a track when I saw it in real life, like in like videos and such. And when they raced, I think, F1 or something there, I was like, Ugh. But then we got it in ACC and I was like, man, this track is actually not bad at all. You know, when there's no broken BOP, the track is actually lots of fun. Hello. Do you, you want? Do you want my setup, by the way? I don't know, mate. I was practicing. Like, yeah, yeah. I, w I would love to, but uh, I mean, how fast you were? <laughs> <laughs> I, d I don't think it, it was the setup problem. My difference here, you know. Your race pace looked to be pretty good. Practice, very Yeah. But uh, thank, you. thank you. I was trying, by the way, if anybody wonders, in these conditions right now, I tried the dry tires just to see how bad they are. It was 5.3 seconds per hour. Yeah. Plus. <laughs> right now, first stop completed on wets, 58.8. What if you with wrong pressures. It'd be nice to have some or spicy rain cool. in the middle of the race, like, oh, you know what would be great? Yeah. Like, 15 minute rain where you cannot change the tires basically because you would lose too much. Yep. <laughs> That'd be cool. Some wild conditions. Nice. 52.6 on a wet track. That's fucking fast, dude. <laughs> <laughs> go, boy. You uh, go. Yeah. OP. OP Honda. This, this OP Honda, Honda is so quick in the wet, dude. <laughs> it's, it's only losing half a second in the wet from the dry. <laughs> He's faster in the wet than I am in the dry, what the hell? Paul <laughs> <laughs> well, Ricard is better than Qatar. I must say, I don't like Qatar racetrack. I feel like it's boring track. I honestly, I feel like the track has no heart, like, at all. Well, the, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, when you have the Turkey GP, you know, you have that, like, turn 13, 14, 15 or something. You're like, damn! Then you go Spa, you have, like, Oruj Radeon or something, right? Then, I don't know, you go, even Monte Carlo, you know, you have, like, the Casino or something, or the, the pool. And then you go, I don't know, like, what track? Name some track. Hockenheim, you know, you go the, the first corner, the hairpin, the stadium sector, and so on. But the Qatar is like, meh. <laughs> you know? It's like, nothing yeah. nothing interesting, you know what I mean? Like, nothing nothing that makes you like, wow, this is like, yeah, this long corner is cool, this long corner is cool, this long corner is cool. <laughs> it's very flowy, because it's originally, it was originally for MotoGP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why, you know, cars, it's, it's quite difficult for cars. I think it could be, I think it might be a nice track for hot lap, but for racing with cars, yeah. it's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, watch out in front. I mean, you just have some tracks like that, that like, like they, they're just missing something, you know? But hey, it's still like, it's decent track, but I would say, poor car, much better. <laughs> 
I was just saying before that I, when they, when like Paul Ricard, this modern Paul Ricard started, I always hated it. But then, uh, but then, like when I was watching TV and such, I was like, eh, what a yeah. track, you know, horrible track. But then ACC taught me how to like this track. It's, it's it produces really good racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very hard track to bob because of the straight, but otherwise it's super. Like, you know what was really fun racing here? The Alpine eSport. Like everyone yeah. on the same car, fantastic. That's true. Yeah. Porsche Cup would be fun here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get why they're not doing like some Porsche Cup esports in ACC. It's the, yeah. That we have the car. License. Yeah, I know, I know. All Middle East tracks are boring? No, man. What about Bahrain? Bahrain is awesome. Bahrain, Bahrain is, is really nice. cool. It's one of the best tracks. And uh, Dubai is good. Dubai is good. Yeah, Dubai is good. Abu Dhabi is not bad at all as well. Like, I would say the Yas Marina circuit, like, is... Uh, especially when they did that update, when they removed that stupid oh, chicane. Yeah. That's true. That, that track improved hundred times when they removed that stupid chicane. Yeah. So, I, I totally disagree with that. Six seconds to find me. Yeah, only oh my god, guys. Six seconds, five seconds behind Aiden. Holy shit. Six seconds. <laughs> Yo, boys, how you doing, mate? How you doing? Opi Honda. Uh, look at that Opi Honda, guys. Six seconds faster. Ah. <laughs> Looking good though, so far, like Aston feels fast or like very decent. It will be even better if it stays wet. Or yeah, you guys yeah, should yeah. do your race dance with me. Yeah, uh, no, 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 mate. I, you know, like I really, I really want to have some like spicy conditions, like spicy. Right. Yeah. Like, like imagine it's a 90 minute race, so I would like to have um, start on like light rain, but you have to take dry tires, you know, mm. then. In the middle of the race, it will rain, but only like for like 15 minutes. So it will not be worth it because it's gonna be pit stop time. It will not be worth it to swap tires for wet. So it will stay on the slicks or something. And ah, oh, that'd be good. You know, something wild like that. I want, I want a weather that's gonna make us think like, oh my God, what the fuck are we actually <laughs> meant to do? And the last 15 minutes, like heavy rain or something. That'd be great. <laughs> I remember, um, it was like ACR on Brands Edge. And it was also like 90 minute race, I think. And the la it was like dry race and the last 20 minutes was flooded. It was like back in like, it was like four years ago, five years ago, guys. But uh, <laughs> it was like flooded, but it was like extreme flooded, you know? So everyone had to oh pay God. because if you didn't pay, the people started crashing, you know, instantly. <laughs> I can remember a really wet Donington race that we all did last year where I, I seem to remember you spinning in the second or third corner jar, coming down the hill. You went through a puddle and just went completely sideways. And I think <laughs> three people followed you as you did it as well. Um, really wet Donington rain. Wait, me spinning uh, in the rain? No. <laughs> no. Never. It was an outlap. It was an outlap. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I actually crashed yesterday twice on Watkins Glen. Man, Oof. I dipped, I dipped my Aston in a chicane twice. Oof. Once, uh -huh. once it was just a kiss into the wall. The second one was dead. It's not very forgiving in the chicane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally like dipped the wheel, like just like I had a little oversteer, and it was just in in a way that I could not cut anymore, like to cut the the properly. And yeah. also, I thought, I thought I like, so my head was not working right. I was not focused. I, I was my head was somewhere else. And I just thought I'm clean, but my right wheel just dipped into that grass and boom, dead. Yeah. The thing with walk-ins with that chicane is like you either cut it tons if the car can handle it or don't cut it at all. If you yeah. go like midway between, you just die. Like, yeah, I that, that dip is so bad, Lambo. man. That the, dip is so bad. But the Lambo does it where it just dies if you're slightly wrong. The Aston, <laughs> yeah. the Lexus. I think the only cars that don't really do it, I think even the McLaren is next them, but the yeah. Porsche doesn't really do it. Porsche is really easy. I think McLaren is kind of, you can save it. In a way, like the problem yeah. for me was 
that there was Chris Warner, who actually twice did the same thing with McLaren, but he could have saved it. But for me with the Aston, I just jumped so far that I just could not save it, you know? Yeah, 52 6 in wet, mate. Man, it's crazy, right? <laughs> man, man, Honda's that good in the way. Honda is that good, man. Honda is that good. <laughs> Right, let's try dry tires again. I just want to see how quick they are done. Ah, dismantle. Is it just Aiden Groot? No. <laughs> no, it's the car. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> 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 So what you're saying is, no, Aiden is trash in all but can't, can't just drive to itself. That's just toxic streamer. <laughs> all the time. Yo, uh, Vala, by the way, are you using ABS1? Yeah. In the what? Right. You know yes. Oh shit, I was using ABS3. Maybe that. But you said you used 58, right? As well. 58, 8. Yeah, yeah but it, it was less rain when I was full. But I was on 20 liters. <laughs> to my first. Okay, okay. <laughs> No Wait, favorite the... track? No track. Two weeks! No. It's two weeks! Two weeks. This weather reminds me of Ray. I don't know if you guys remember, but like, I think three seasons ago now in NFM Pro, it was the last NFM season in 1.8. We had like a full record race, one hour, one and a half hours, and it rained middle of the race. Yes! The last few people pitted for wet, half stayed out and dry. Yes! And then at the end of the race, the last few laps, the drives were like five seconds a lap. Yeah! Oh, that, I think was, I remember. that was absolutely yeah. epic race. I remember that. Yeah, race, that yeah. was yeah. absolutely epic. And then I threw the win by crashing with Tim Toe. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember. I remember. That was absolutely Habits. epic race. That was probably one of the most fun races. Ever. Yeah, I, I don't even remember how I finished, but I remember it was one of the most epic races. I think you were fit. Like you were top five. It was like I remember it was so insane. I remember Timu came like second or something. Timu was bigger, and then George got pulled by one of the Germans. <laughs> I do remember, yeah. I think that's what this race is really like. Except no one's gonna try the wet because everyone's just gonna stay on the wet. Because wet's are attempt to make it easy I remember that because I was on the wet, which was the wrong strategy, and I lost tons at the end. <laughs> Yellow flag in sector one. Alive, but he is very much alive. Somebody sent me a picture of Summer, but he's looking very, very happy playing World of Tanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, 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 it's the font pressure. Watch pressure. I would, I would literally cast you for uh, Walking Dead. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm, just, I'm just preparing my cameo for the machinist. You know. <laughs> so just the curious one the when Simir hits the uh, elephant with the car on the left. Clear on the left. Clear on the left. Oh my left. god! This is what World of Tanks does to a man. Well, 30 right. hours of World of Tanks. Oh! Clear on the left. Clear on the left. You don't hear that? Um, just watch the replay and you will know. <laughs> but come. Okay. Oh, Do you need the ambulance? Okay. We've got some light damage. Ambulance question? Uh, yeah. Possibly, possibly. I will screen share it real quick. Oh, so you've got an M4 behind you, a, a Bentley just in front. Oh no. Oh. What was going on here? Oh, when, the rubber, <laughs> when the rubber bending happens, exactly when you want to stop in here. Yeah? Oh, somebody call an ambulance! <laughs> but not for me! It <laughs> <laughs> yeah. didn't even look like you got hit. You didn't get hit on my screen, but I think that was my fault. 
<laughs> kill. Luckily, this is a practice. <laughs> like, yeah. report, report and kill. Report and kill. <laughs> report. Uh, which wheelbase would you prefer, Symmetric Alpha or Symmetric 2? If I could pick right now any wheelbase, I would take the Symmetric Alpha U, I think it is, the 25 Newton meter. I would love to try that one. Really, really try it. Oh, wait! Wait, something else happened! Wait, I didn't even see this! Wait, oh, all, all we saw was the drift. Are you wait, it. you haven't seen one happen after? No, no, oh. no, hold on, I'm screenshotting it. Oh, you missed the important part. You missed yeah. the important part. <laughs> oh, okay. An ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> oh, no, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I sent him for some McDonald's drive through right there. Yeah, I mean, I mean he, over, he overtook off the track, so it's his fault. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. That was a live stewarding from me right there, you know? <laughs> what is my car in real life? I have a Hyundai i20N. Right, went in. Amazing little car. Hello. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> Sorry, Wait, Bingo is out. Right. Okay, let's see, guys. Let's see what's going on. like chewing razor blades like for the last ten minutes. Right. Let's see. <laughs> what did I get the image of? Right. Being a razor blade. AOR oh no, parking no, no, no. bingo! Mm, yummy. The biggest yummy supermarket racing blade. in the world. Lap 1 Man, Chaos. Tommy Rosario Blade. <laughs> uh, uh. Lap 1 Wait. Chaos. Driver complained about French baguette weather. <laughs> what the fuck? Drive to party. Volatile yeah. French killer. I mean, that's a very high probability, guys. Like, No, that's Elephant Pro. That's Elephant Pro. Jarrier Top 10. Okay, that's ho hopefully. Aiden Unlucky Crash. That is very highly possible. You confesses on stray. I think that's a win already. <laughs> Chris Giga bowling. That's also a very high chance. <laughs> Gregor is dead on the fast I think we need to, we need to permit, um, predict the... <laughs> <laughs> Samir, Samir, dead and go play World of Tanks. <laughs> Here comes Honda. Uh, Luke top five. That's easy. Lucas oh, finally good that. race. No. Lucas it's finally good race. Who the hell is Lucas? It's me. It's uh, this is Lucas. It's Lucas. Is that Lucas? Lucas Wait, who? Lucas who? Lucas who? Congretel? Congretel? Number 17? Ah, oh, maybe. Okay, ah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, to be fair, he has had a shocking run. Yeah, ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. I didn't know he's Lucas. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Gur doing BMW move. Possible. Possible. That's, that's a certain. BMW drivers. Harley <laughs> slow today. I doubt it. 3 DNFs, one stopping goal. We should have to do like five drive throughs or something like that. It's a dynamic race. <laughs> Wait, is War Thunder better than War of Tanks? I yes. have no idea. I don't play either, so I have no <laughs> idea actually. Uh, War of Thunder is very good. Wait, what is the they difference? Have become, they, have, like the they have become very they have become very different. One one has shifted towards uh one 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 is much more arcadey and uh much more like Let's say, yeah, arcade shooter like World of Tanks, and one is more axed towards uh, like more realistic and one just leaks more historical, one or one more historical vehicles in his what? Uh, one just okay. leaks isn't, all confidential documents, no? Like isn't, the community of, of isn't, isn't the War Thunder where you can like play in the planes, the tanks, yes. and so on? World of oh. Tanks is only tanks, okay. and War Thunder has planes, boats, ah. uh, tanks. Is it War Thunder? Helicopters. What's the, what's the game? Does it, does it have for like infantry or not? No, not infantry. Oh, that's a shame. That'd be so cool. I actually haven't played either of those games like ever. Uh, I'm, try, I'm trying to think what game it is now. I think I'm getting mixed up. Stop waiting for it. Let's go back on track. Maybe World of Warplanes, which is that game. Yeah, but well. Good time to end that. <laughs> what is that game? Man, know. guys, I'm, I'm I'm loving. I haven't been able to play for like almost a week now. But Hell Divers, what a great game, guys! What a great game! I cannot yes. wait to play again. I just didn't have I... the time and I didn't have a right mind. But I'm looking forward like next week or the week after to freaking send it again for democracy. I... <laughs> I thought I didn't. I thought I didn't know how to play for democracy. <gasps> oh my god, he's playing a democracy as well. Nice. I, I, I show him the way. 
was so democratic last night. Nice. So good. I yeah. remember the old days when I was teaching Valle how to play Eldarus. <laughs> he was such a noob. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing the original one like six or seven years ago. Wait, what a change, right? So nice. What a yeah. change they did. That's I impressive. mean, it's like completely opposite type of game now. No, like it's, it's just so cool, 3D. It it's just 3D, you know? Oh, wait, yeah, like, I mean... Sorry, I know we're past the conversation. No, I was trying to think of the games that like all the official, like, confidential documents and stuff keep getting leaked. It's Wolf Thunder. Yeah. Oh yeah, Aiden has had his first uh, interaction with Chargers yesterday. We <laughs> <laughs> got gangbanged by like four of them at once. That's great. <laughs> that was a very stressful experience. Is there <laughs> is there any games you guys yeah. are looking forward this year to this year's like release? Uh, I love you when it's fixed. <laughs> F124. Oh, wow. apparently I read summer. I read summer the Lama. Uh, sorry, Lama. The F124 should be on Unreal Engine or something. Is it true? Oh, maybe uh, yes. Well, I, I, I read some rumors, but I'm not sure if it's true or not. They made the switch to Unreal Engine WRC. I, I, I've, yeah. I've, I've given up having hope for the F1 games. I've, I've given up at this point. Which is like since twenty fourteen, I've been like, yeah, Oh, the Classic yes. Fortnite, bro, I was playing Classic Fortnite, like, when it released, I literally played it, like, for, like, a week. I was having so much fun, nostalgia, playing the Fortnite, and then they switched it back to, like, a, old, like, a normal Fortnite, I was like, <laughs> and I didn't like it anymore. Playing Helldivers with Valet, it's instant airstrike on you. Dude, like, so Valentin was literally for the first, I don't know, four or five days, he was playing with the, <laughs> he was playing with the grenade launcher. I only killed Samir three times in one game. <laughs> That's the only team kills I did. <laughs> Every time I was doing a team kill, it was Samir as well. Yeah, but the damage and such counts as well. Oh, Elden Ring DLC. Yes. Okay, I'm looking forward for that. I played the so I was playing co-op on Elden Ring with Leon, and we haven't finished everything, but we killed Melania and such. And I'm actually looking forward to play DLC. My strike is not nice on the dry tires. One hour and thirty. Yeah. 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 Welcome to Earth, Welcome. George. Yeah. Yeah. She. That's a lot of chats in hour and thirty. Oh, ready or not, uh, man. This year, I think it's great for games. Like the last like four or five months, I'm really good for games. Like Enshrouded, uh, the Power Board for some people, right? The Hell Divers. Uh, there's gonna be the Drag uh, Dragon's Dogma. Is it called? That looks very, very cool. Um, there's supposed to be something else. Back in these notes. <laughs> Ready or not, we played as well. It was really cool. Yep. Like, this year is really good for gaming, I would say. Like, overall. Or, like, a really good spring. And especially sim racing, too, right? I racing Rain, Le Mans yeah, Ultimate, yeah. Uh, Red Bull Ring, GT2 Cars for ACC, North Life for ACC. I said, of course, I too later. I said, of course, I too. Apparently, it's going to get, get, get getting delayed. Though. Well, it was supposed to be delayed until summer. Oh, yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's delayed until autumn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Baldur's Gate. Mate, I'm, I'm going to say, if I will have a time in the future, I want to, like, play Baldur's Gate again. Because I played for, like, 80 hours. And then, um, if something happened, I stopped playing it. But uh, yeah. I need to, like, play it again and finish it. I haven't finished my playthrough. George just realized it's allowed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I just watched the stream as that happened. Did you tune in and just like. <laughs> uh, yes, Hans, yes, you do, yeah. Is that, is, that, that, is, that, is that not better for you, George? Uh, now I know. They feel the same, I don't know. It's 15 minutes less each time, so I guess. Well, it depends, I guess, if you go to four hours. Yeah. yeah. Right, and what math is one hour race going more on one set of tires than a 90 minute race? No, on 45 minutes. You have, you have 45 minutes limits. Yeah, in one hour race, you have 230 minutes. Oh, come right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are getting, yeah, we are getting new Asura Corsa. Asura Corsa 2. It's not follow up to ACC, it's a follow up to Asura Corsa 1. That should be me today. 
basically, the streamer is an idiot. That's what's happening. So am I, I just proved myself to be an idiot as well. If anyone wonders, dry tires right now are drivable, but they're dark blue and doing 59s. I'll be the judge of that. Actually, it might not be because it's 14C now. Yeah, because it's so cold, right? It might yeah, not be like, quite warm, so. Yo, Marley! I guess it depends. Like, it depends on what yeah, like my, right now, two, two minutes flat, and the tires are completely blue. So actually, because it's so cold, the wet, like if it's gonna be like this, the wets are still much better, though. Yeah, I mean it depends because the Porsche is quite heavy on the tires. This is a big difference compared to VM. I'm gonna be honest, like big yeah. difference to VM. Yeah, it's like half the temps. It's like half the degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh, maybe if maybe if you drive like a summer and put like one one brake dice, you could make maybe make drives. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm on like one three or one two. And four, so what? I'm one in the front two. What? Yeah, but pressure's at only twenty two psi. It's not horrific. <laughs> no, see that's actually the gigastrap because they're actually generating more heat by the tires. Thank you so much, guys, for leaving like a watching, by the way. Quarter well, is starting in three minutes. Let's see what the weather will be. It's the next day. <laughs> no, there is what? Stage, there's no strategy about what I'm driving right Draw now. Draw traffic. Draw traffic. Okay, the, the sliding is actually warming the tires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The problem is, you warm up the tires a tiny bit, and then on a long straight, they cool dead, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, practice the pit entry. Oh my god, Hans, what the fuck? <laughs> Can we go with a line or not? No. Oh no, eight. we cannot. Eight, eight, eight. If you're not driving, you should check in oh, We've got the first bumps! <laughs> oh my god, it's literally horrific! Oh my <laughs> Jesus! I got to practice that. <laughs> What well, which track is worse for having the first box? Is it Paul Record or Kyle Army? Because Kyle Army's pretty rough, right? I got to do a three point turn. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. It's like immediately, as soon as you enter the pit lane, it's there. <laughs> oh, she was right earlier, you know, you don't have to play chess. Just use the F1 entry, like enter it before the final corner. It's Gert not driving. We have a premium member here. <laughs> Maybe Kurt saw the weather and he was like, nah, the oh, no. <laughs> was good enough. <laughs> yeah, Kurt's probably recovering from Saturday. <laughs> that, 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 I, was, I, I was watching the BMW on Saturday. That was a pain. A pain drive. Yo, Hans, thank you so much for 21 months. Thank you. Thanks for letting Erickson win us today. Yo, you guys did good. You guys, you, you guys did really good. This is an individual race. Individual Marley. This is a championship series. Like, let's see, guys, the lottery. What will the weather be, though, for the quality? Wet quality, wet quality. It's going to be, be dry, though. It's, gonna be, no, it's, it's so be, late in the day. It's going to be raining. It's going to be raining. I'm praying for you dry. Know, you know it's going to be raining, right? I'm absolutely praying for dry. I want uh, it to be wet, but I know my I'm going to get fucking moved. <laughs> my, I tried, dry, guys, by the way, dry tires for three laps in these conditions, light graining on all four tires in four nice. laps, three laps. Two laps, right. actually. Two laps. Wow. I actually yeah. know one lap. <laughs> one corner. Yeah. <laughs> My, I literally left the pit box. <laughs> Severe graining. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, man. See, I prayed for dry quality at Watkins and my prayers were not answered. I'm hoping oh, that I, I get some good time with it. Oh. All right. If you want to go on board and see my amazing pit box, uh, that's definitely not going to lose me any time in the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Maybe if you qualify better, they will give you a better slot. What? <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> God, that's not so uh, bad. That's not too bad. That's right. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What are you complaining uh, about? That's easy. I got, I got, I got moved. <laughs> you can't move. <laughs> he got moved. George got moved. Got moved. I got moved. Oh, I, can't, I, oh, I can't move. 
Right. Let's see what the weather okay. will be, boys. I'm Eight picking. Uh, I'm, I'm picking rain. quality setup for the quality. Uh, yeah, dry I'm, setup for the quality. I'm on a dry, dry setup. setup. Oh, green, green train! Train. Yeah. Green train, mate. Amazing. What the Amazing green track. track. You get it. Frick is just spun leaving the pit box. It's 16 degrees. All right, good luck, everyone. Oh, there's no drop round, no. Luck good. Luck good. Luck good. Luck good. Luck good. Luck good. good guck. Lots of wind, dude. The block of oh, seven yeah. kilometer wind. Yeah. Let me get some yeah. super slip stream from that OP Ferrari. Lexus will be better for slips. Well. Wait, how did someone left the pits 14 seconds ahead? What the hell? Yeah, that's what I thought. What the hell is this gap between us? Oh, no, because, because there's that, like, exit room that was off the pit lane. You have, like, the first few cars that are, like, up ahead of it, and then everyone's behind it. Oh. But usually splits the... Like, like, it you know, usually right, splits, like, halfway. Like, but look yeah, how they are. Five cars, but is it, yeah, look at us, like, me, Vale, and Luke, and then there is a 15 second gap. Maybe we, we started no, no. from the second part of the pit stops and yeah. I guess the tires yeah. and start from the first part. Am I allowed to go out the pit lane backwards? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you cut straight on the circuit? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, was... good luck everyone. Good luck. Hey, good luck, good luck. Good luck. That would be actually funny for George if you could do that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be one lap quality, guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If there's no one around, I'll try it. You could disqualify for going backwards or something. Imagine it will work. <laughs> so you go into your pits, do your pit stop right, turn around, and reach on the track. <laughs> that would be so funny if that was possible. But it's right next to the entry, so... You should try. You should try now. If you get disqualified, what's the worst thing that can happen, right? Yeah, just blast the first. I mean, you can do it with your car. Right, good luck. Hey, good luck, guys. Well, let's see what we can do in the quality, guys. The track is green. The pace will be horrible. On an optimal track, guys, I was like top three, top five. But let's see what we can do on a green track. No grip. race today guys there's a 33% chance of rain it was raining in the free practice so uh and now the track is green that means it was raining just before basically this session Aston has a Aston is very fast on this track but the problem is this straight like until here the Aston is good but from here, the Aston is slow. The, uh, the Lexus is 10 kilometers faster. And Ferrari is like a little bit faster too. But there's a back wind. No, there's a wind. I think there's a wind, yeah. If you're wondering, the three green track means there's like no rubber. So the track is like, I don't know, one second slower than it should be. It's like an optimal, fast, and green, and then wet. Yo, Mikey, how you doing, mate? Sorry for yesterday, Mike. I'm so sorry. Poor Mikey carried me yesterday. Thank you guys, by the way, for the likes. It's gonna be a good race, I think. No matter what's gonna happen, I think it's gonna be a good race. If you don't get killed. First lap, but this uh, can go much faster. Whoa! 
Sim Racing, it's a podium hub. Podium hub. What does dump mean in ECC? Well, dump. It's like very little wet. First lap was bad, we can go much faster. Mike, by the way, funny, I'm driving exactly the same setup from yesterday. I haven't done a single change. <laughs> Probably last lap quality. He's gonna probably change too fast. Marion, thank you very much guys. Thank you so much for leaving like. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Green track, guys. Green, green, green. <laughs> Look at this! One tenth so far between everyone. I hope the track will stay green. <laughs> if the track will go uh, to like optimal, it's gonna be difficult. Last stop, Koli, guys. Last stop, Koli. Good pace. A uh, really good pace. Yeah, yeah, Mikey. Yeah. Oh, look at me, Vala. No, one tenth faster he went. Bala is really good in the first sector. I'm losing in the first sector. Two tenths. Wow. First sector is my weakness. Looking very close right now on a, on a green track. We have a good car for today. Like, really depends what the weather will do. And what the... Like, I mean, if, oh, the track just went fast. Okay, guys. Change of plan. Change of plan, the track just went fast, so we need to do a good lap now. It's definitely not gonna go optimal, but we need to go fast. I'm definitely strong here today. It's a 90 minute race, guys, it's gonna be so difficult.
Alright, full focus. I have two or three laps to do. Thank you guys for leaving like this job, everybody. We appreciate the love. Also, all the members, welcome to the stream. I need to make it two clean ups at least. Stay there. Do a big slide. Oof. I'll be able to do two laps. Uh, Chris Warner is also in Austin. Stay here in this corner. Not improving, guys. Somebody got disqualified. Naughty. Somebody did something bad. I don't think the track is just improving. Ooh, number six got disqualified. Good help. Is the last corner? No. Damn it! Mistakes. Very close for P2 and such. Oh, 
have nothing to lose guys, I need to send it. In the last sector. Oof. Very, very difficult. I cannot improve. I cannot improve right now. I did my best, guys. I did my best. Ah, uh, tenth slower than the other Aston. Right behind Vala. If he's not, they're gonna improve. Ooh. We got George. We got Warner. We got Summer and such. We got Grego. Oh, Vala goes B2. What? What? Wait, what, Vala? What was the lap? Aiden goes ball. What? Is the people doing last laps or something? Wow! Wow! That is bullshit. No way. What? You sneaky no way. bastard! What happened? You sneaky, there? sneaky bastard! You bitch! No! Everyone <laughs> improved on the last slot there. What? You Yay. bitch! <laughs> Everyone I, improved on the last slot. What? I, 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 no! You sneaky bastard, man! I saw that toe gain you three tenths. I saw it. <laughs> Dude, not a paid actor. Not a paid actor. But I needed it to even be competitive. Your car is so ridiculous. That's why you're there. Ah. Uh, Dude, how do you, you guys gain so much on the last lap? Did you try to improve or something? Uh, yeah, I had flickers. So much. I, I don't know how that happened. I don't I think, the, I don't think the track improved that much. Oh, to be fair. Oh, 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 Get in yes. there, Lewis. Get, Get in there. there Dude, can uh, I can yeah. not fall into our lap anymore, please? How <laughs> uh, about the fuel, though? I, I, should I take more fuel or less fuel? Just. Well, you don't know if it's going to be 30 yeah. minutes of rain or uh, exactly. 6 minutes of rain. I'm gonna it might take be 80, 2 laps of rain. Then. I'm going to take 86 liters. Yeah, and we don't know if the rain's coming in exactly 30 minutes or it could be coming in 12 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, also true. Also true. I'm gonna be, be raining I'm twenty. Gonna, I'm gonna take eighty-six liters just in case. I don't know what actually running to either. Oh, that's uh, a shame. I, I got to risk it. All yeah. <laughs> <laughs> risk. I'm putting in fifty liters. <laughs> nice. That Lexus is gonna be doing like six hundred k. I'm just gonna be normal, and I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna go fifty minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Five five zero. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been fucking funny. I'm going what I was going to go originally. I'm not challenging anything. If I need to get the wets, I need to get the wets, but I'm not doing what I think you're to Actually no guy. Mm. <laughs> this guy. Um <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Well right now it's at least two minutes of rain. The one that rain Uh, 81 minutes. Hmm, what fuel? What mm. fuel? Long fuel or normal? Hmm. Because if it's a rain shower like we had in free practice, it's only like 10 or 15 minutes rain. 
But it's so cold that those slicks are just going to do nothing. It's gonna be like driving on hockey pucks. Hello, grainy, yeah, but what do you do then? Friend. Do you pit twice? Yeah. Hello, graining my old it's a, it's a fairly long pit stop. So it's I would so say, I would stop. say, yeah, hello, graining. <laughs> Honestly, wait, is there a pit window? No, there's no pit window, right? In AOR. No pit window. No just pit have window. to refuel. That's all you have to do. Yeah. So you start, we can start on wet tires, actually. I'm taking full tank. <laughs> yeah, start on wets is the cool, I think. Yeah. I'm going to take 86 like... liters. I will, I will actually take more fuel just in case, like it's some weird weather. But I would I rather take, take that. less. I would rather take like 50 liters, but... I mean, it can be like in a practice, right? In a practice it was raining for like 10 minutes only. Yeah. Yeah, and then you wanted to box us soon afterwards and get fresh slicks. Yep. Yeah. I think I'll keep long run for long run fuel. Yeah, just, I, I'm for the first in. We're betting on this. Yeah, we gotta if, have a heavy it, car just in case. I mean, it can be not, 10 minutes. If right? that's the wrong call, oh well, we're like 10 kg heavier, 15 kg heavier than what we should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it can be raining in 20 minutes, right? So we will have to pit anyway. So I mean, I, there's definitely no one risking taking 50 liters or something like that, right? Like at least not in the front. That would be really dumb. Oh, I'm joking. I'm in 90. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm in 55 minutes of fuel. Yeah, same. I, I, I was I was so close to the I was so so close. I was hesitating too, but as. You know, if it's like a 10 minute, if it's a 10 minute range shower, then you're screwed over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because no, if it's a 10 minute shower and you're going out, you just go through the rain and then hit the drives once it's over. You, exactly. know, you know what I think it's going to be? I think it's going to be like in the practice, I think we're going to have a double pit today. I think it's going to be a double pit. I'm yeah. just going to try and not make pit. I think we will be forced to pit twice today. If that shower is longer than 15 minutes, you'll have to. Yeah, if the yeah. if the shower is yeah, as you say, 15 minutes, you have to pay for sure. Because as I was driving behind Gregor, I was losing five seconds per lap, more than five seconds per lap. So, uh, and it wasn't even plus rate; it was just normal. Yo, let's go, guys! Thank you very much for supporting. End, Thank I'm, you. I'm absolutely done because <laughs> the fuel but usage nope. on this car, I can apparently I can make 63 minutes with a full tank. But no one will overtake you. Yeah, but I I have, I'll have to stay out in the rain. Oh. To get, so I don't have to do an extra pit stop, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, but this car has a, a nuked tank and also the heaviest usage out of everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do like three laps in the wet or something. Well, good luck, George. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're gonna be you're gonna be P1 by the end of yeah. that one anyway. You're overtaking. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, to sure. be fair, George, I think it's the same for everybody else. If the rain will come in the next 15 minutes, and it's gonna be yeah. like in a way that you have to pit. And it's the same for everyone. That everybody I, I has. Think, yeah. yeah, but I, yeah, I, I, I only have a 113 liter tank, and I use like 0 0.3 more than everyone else. So I, I'll have to do an extra like two laps in the rain. What's your consumption? Like 3.5. Oh Jesus, I'm free from the Holy shit. I, I could probably make an hour and 15 if I needed to. I wouldn't want to, but like, we'd probably do it. Wait! Oh, frickin' Peter's already? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it said that he served his round of chicken I was gonna hope that, like, the rain comes later than sooner. Jeez. Or it's just a, a damp patch and then it goes. You know? I think for you, it's better if it comes as soon as possible. Oh, did you go full fuel? Nah. Uh. <laughs> I sure have. Here we are, go. go. Welcome to the team. Thank you very much. We have a member here. <laughs> I need one 50 now. liters or 50 minutes of fuel? Minutes. Number George. Uh, I'm 50 liters of fuel. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, dear. You are going to oh, be easy. Oh, you're going to be fast. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, good luck, everyone. Yo, good, good luck, boys. Have a great race. This is going to be spicy. If you guys can, please fight a lot so we can no. catch up. That would be great. No. I... <laughs> right, guys, it's gonna be hard. Uh, I, I, I didn't improve a tenth, and therefore, it is like four cars between me and my, my teammates, which is uh, a lot. On this track, if you fight, you can lose a lot of time. And it's gonna be also interesting to see how everyone has different amount of fuel. 
So, uh, guys, thank you very much for watching, buddy. Thank you very much. And Jakub, welcome to the team. Thank you so, so much, guys, for supporting. Uh, 90 minute race, guys. Rain incoming. Rain incoming. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm taking a little bit more fuel just to see. Green flag, green flag, green, green, green. Car on the left. Rain in 10. Oh my god. People have to pit. People have to pit. Oh my god, that's safe from Honda. Oh my god. Come on, bomb drafty. Clear on the right. I might be on a very heavy fuel, guys. Rain in 10. Right, we survived so far. Last train in 30. So we definitely have to go on the wet tires, guys. We definitely have to go on the wet tires when it starts raining. We definitely have to go on the wets. We'll have to be very careful of tracks the whole race, especially when it's wet. Let's go. Oh, it's morning. morning for I followed Aston ahead. I literally just followed that Aston ahead, guys. Damn it. It's, a, it's gonna be very easy to get a drive through today, guys, by the way. But it's gonna be wet. Okay, we need to make a clean lap. Yeah, for Ricard is very dangerous to get a warning, obviously. I just followed us on the head, you know, that was just my one fault. But uh, in the rain, we're gonna be, have to be so careful. Guys, if you can smash the like, it really, really helps. Welcome to the channel, by the way. Thank you so much for subscribing. Playing AOR. It's gonna be very spicy soon. Guys, can somebody in the chat? Guys, somebody in the chat. Mike Williams, please. Can you calculate the fuel? 306 per lap. Uh, 158 pace. How uh, how much fuel I need for one hour, please?
Somebody really quickly in the chat, please. Calculate that. Oh, no. No plus rain anymore. No plus rain anymore, so it's gonna be... But well, it's gonna be an interesting race. I think it's gonna be a two-pistol race. Yeah, noob. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, mate. But also because of the conditions, noob. I will probably have to pick twice. Maybe for splash and dash or something like that, you know? I took so much fuel. If I would take less fuel, it would be easier. Minus rain in 30. How much fuel do I need for 1 hour 15 then? Like 115 liters? That Honda is less fuel for sure. He's for sure on the less fuel. Minus rain in 30. I'm definitely going on wet. I'm 100 going for the wet tires. I did a lot of practice in a free practice. Like dry tires, wet track and such and definitely going for wet because it's very cold it's 15 degrees 116 liters thank you thank you Zaza the one that's gonna get us I will probably just let him go Car on the right. I don't think he's much faster but we might just have to let him go and see right. I think he's on the less fuel Lots of lots of fuel. What I think is gonna happen, guys, if it will, we will have to pit for wets 100%, and then we will have to pit one more time for either dry tires or just like splash and dash. That Honda is for sure on low fuel. It's gonna be a good race, guys. This is exactly the conditions I wanted to have. Thank you very much, guys, for enjoying and supporting. Thank you so much, guys. Doing good, doing good. Alright, right now everyone is on a different amount of fuel because everyone risks different strategy. some light cars we need that rain to come soon I think the track will go dry like in a free practice guys it was going from dry to wet oh car on the left clear on the left OMG Honda come on Thirty. 
Actually, let's see what the weather will be in 30 minutes. And I will take the fuel considering that. So I'm thinking in like two, three minutes when it's gonna start raining, we will see the next weather slope, right? And considering that, I will decide the strategy of fuel. If it's gonna be still wet, at least like minus rain, I will go um, wet and full tank. If it's gonna be anything else, I will probably go uh, like less fuel, you know? Just less fuel. Oh, here we go. Still minus rain. In 30 minutes. Oh, dry in 30 minutes. Whoa. Whoa. I will do two pit stops, I guess. I will probably risk two pit stops, guys. guys think i think in two pit stops right now just to be safe because the rain is gonna be plus for 20 minutes because it's gonna be wet for a long time you know it's very cold so the track will be wet for like half an hour 40 minutes at least 40 to 50 minutes the track will be wet it might be wet until the end as well hmm for 20 minutes in 20 minutes that's like 12 laps we were losing five seconds per lap in those conditions okay i might stay out for now let's see what the others will do maybe i will just stay on a six we'll see maybe you have to go through it it's a very this is very hard conditions to decide what to do because it's really cold guys it is very, very cold, so it's very difficult to what to choose. Yeah, I will stay out for now. Let's see what the others will do. Jump it off twice, though. Guys, it's very cold. The track will stay wet for longer time. That's why I think the wet is better option right now. Fuck it, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it guys. I wanna I wanna try. I wanna try something different, you know, today. <laughs> so there's like three different strategies I can do at this moment. And I have no idea which one is better, guys. So I would I just wanna try this. I could have stayed out on the dries, but it's gonna be it, it can be wet in these conditions, it can be wet for like extra 20 minutes, you know? So I will try this. I will try this and let's see. This is probably a safer choice. If it's faster, there's no idea, but it's definitely safer. We lost a lot though. We were far behind Valentin and such. 
Let's see, guys. Let's see. Four, six seconds to Aiden and, and such. The Honda is rapid and wet though. I took a lot of fuel. Just to be safe. So, yeah, let's see guys. Let's see. I have no idea what's gonna happen right now. This is crazy. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Risking something different today, right? I just rolled the dice. Yeah, I did like a Baldur's Gate strategy. But let's be super careful on those off tracks. Pressure's a little bit too high on the left. I think Valentin can win this race in Aston. We have a good pace. We have a good pace, guys. The Honda is rapid in the rain. It all like varies how much anyone is using the fuel right now. I wonder what is the pace of the leaders. They will definitely not pit. Right towers will be like seven seconds slow for lap now. George is gonna get me on the straight. Alright, we overtook two cars. But George is gonna get us on the straight. He has like the, the Lexus is 10 kilometers faster. I'm gonna get stuck behind him. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Watch this, guys. Watch this fun. Four tenths, right? George, please work together, please. Car on the left. Clear on the left.
need help as you can get to the Lexus, guys. On a straight. My left arrow pressures, left side pressures are very high. Okay, good pace, though. Even with the pressure. No! Oh, that was close. Hey, look at this! We are just gonna be stuck behind yours! We have a good pace though, we have a really good pace, guys. Anybody knows what is the people who are on a slick pace? Five seconds faster. Okay, okay, we have a gap on George now. We need to keep it going. The pace is decent. It's not the best, but it's decent. Try to cool down the tires as much as possible. We need the track to stay wet for like 10 more minutes. 10 more laps, I think. But I feel like the slick tires are winning right now. Guys, I have a bad feeling the slick tires are winning right now. We need to, the way to stay like this for at least another 15, 20 minutes. Like it. I think the thing is, I think for example Chris Warner, I think he's on more fuel, so he might go until the end. But I'm considering I think I will have to pay it for rise, you know? I just, I, I just think I will have to. Yeah, Jake, yeah, yeah, I did, I did. 
But we have a good pace, really good pace, guys. The leaders, the P1, P2, are going to the last corner now. Those guys, I don't think we'll get. But P3 are further behind. Should I try Valentin's setup? His setup feels very in a, feels, seems very in the rain. That's a bad lap though. Too many mistakes. Thank you, Tyrone. Thank you. Man, anything four tenths is too close for me, George. He's too close. We need to pull. We need to pull, guys. <laughs> Yo, Pete. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, by the way. Hope you enjoy. The track is very wide right now. This is a great race. This is exactly what I was hoping for, guys. Some drama like this. We haven't had a spicy race like this in a long time. But let's see what the strategy difference will be. Because I think, for example, Chris Warner behind, he's on a more fuel. But I think we will have to pit, no matter what. I think. Because it's gonna stop raining, like, I don't know, 40 minutes to go? It's gonna be properly intense race, guys, until the end. Eight, nine, 58 9 guys we have the same pace as everyone ahead a little faster than P p10 guys i think we will have a one extra pit stop compared to the leading group so we need to make the time somehow Definitely catching the bimber ahead a little bit. Okay, we put 10th gap on George now. I keep cooling down the tires just to uh, make sure to have them good. We're catching P8, who is on the slicks. Catch him next lap. Oh, this is gonna be spicy race. We are not catching the leaders that fast. I don't think the, this strategy is winning strategy right now. But it's still one hour to go. Hey, thank you so much guys for leaving those likes. Thank you, can we make it 600 today guys? For a spicy 90 minute race on Paul Ricard. I think it's gonna be a very dramatic ending.
Wait, my, my left eye refreshes are so high. Every lap is different grip. Guy ahead on the slick tower is defending the Vimmer. Oh, he wasn't there, man. George is okay. Dry in ten. He's gonna stop raining in ten. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna be honest. I think the, stri the dry strategy is the winning strategy. I have a bad feeling that the dry strategy is the winning strategy. <laughs> By far. Because we will have to do that one extra pit, so we need to catch them before it's gonna be dry, technically. I know, it might be close with the dry runners. Oh, oh my god, what a legend! Oh my god, thank you very much! Thank you, let us go! Some slicks, you know? I think I took a little bit too much fuel, by the way. Yes, do we need like 15, 20 more minutes, right? I have a bad feeling, guys. Uh, I have um, too much fuel right now. Guys, by the way, Mike Williams or someone, can you please calculate the fuel? Uh, 52 race space. 52 race space. 30, uh, 307 uh, fuel consumption. Definitely catching the guy ahead. Yo, Hansa, thank you! Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Yeah, the dry runners will be getting faster and faster by now, basically. Uh, and then, but they will pit when the track will be still probably wet. How long, uh, Mike, basically from now? Like, so I know how too much to add? Oh, is it Gregor? Catch a Gregor, one of the dry runners. Like any dry runner we will overtake now before they will pit is our victory, basically. From now, 96 liters is too much. No way. At 40 is very safe. Okay. I think the P1, P2, no way we can beat. I don't think. I think so. But the rest, there's a chance. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Ah, oh, just gonna get me, I think. If George gonna overtake me, that's a big problem. When I go to my uh, when I have a lot of time, I have too many races right now. <laughs> no. 
Oh, please, no, George, no! I was hoping he will help with something, but... Oh, are you kidding me? You kidding me? I got a warning because I couldn't see the flops. Fuck this game, really, with this. Ah! That's so strict, guys. That is so strict. I could not see it. I was literally following Lexus. Right, let's try to follow George. Maybe you can uh, keep up with him. But I have to be really careful with those off tracks now. No more allowed. I'm sure there are people that are free already. Come on! Let's see, maybe the tow will help us. You can keep it with the slipstream. stream. Help us, George, help us. Pull us forward now. Pull us forward. Oh, nice slipstream. stream. Just not follow him here. No, 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 no. Catching Harley and such guys, so this is good because the guys on the drives haven't pitted yet, and we are already catching some of them. Not the leaders; the leaders are in the last corner. We still, we still need like ten more, ten more, ten more laps in this to catch them. I think this is super crazy race. This is super crazy race. I love it. Don't forget we have to pit as well because of the tires. My left tires are so high pressure, it's not, it, that's what I'm losing for sure. BMW lost so much time! The BMW lost so much time with Dustin! And George is gonna get both of them! George is gonna get both of them, guys! Watch! George is gonna get both! On a straight! No! Aiden is only 9 seconds behind Luke and such. Aiden can win this race. I think Aiden can win this race. This strategy is winning strategy if you are where Aiden is. Okay, this is for net position. We are overtaking the dry tire runners. We gotta beat them no matter what. But the Bimmer is for position. Ooh, oh right. my god! Oh my god! What just happened there? The right. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? What a save from both! My left tires are so high pressure, it's pissing me off, guys. That's why I'm losing a lot of pace. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Oh my 
my god, that was so brave. So brave, guys. We are P6 right now. We are P6 right now. Okay, it stopped raining. It just stopped raining, guys. I think you know who. Like, I think I think Aiden can win this race because of the Luke Whitehead. Has to pit soon. And his stars will be fucked, you know? And we can go when it's gonna be dry. No blister, nothing. So I think Aiden is winning this race right now. Look, how far is Aiden behind the Lears? It's probably like four seconds now. Four seconds! Oh my god, guys, the wet strategy is winning strategy. Wet strategy is the winning one today. Holy cow. Holy cow, guys. Not for me, though. Not for me. I'm too far behind. Holy cow. That was... That was good. I'm too far behind the dry runners. P5, boys. P5. Aiden is P2. Michael Thomas... Uh, Michael Race is spitting. Uh, he's gonna have a bad tires. His tires will be bad, you know? We can wait. Okay, guys. I need a fuel. Uh, 40 liters, right? Right. At 40, sorry, at 40. I can beat it in like 10 minutes when it's gonna be properly dry. We need to build a gap on this BMW behind me. It will be super fast when it's gonna be dry, dry. It's way early for dries. Yeah, yeah, I know. Aiden is only second behind Luke Whitehead. Aiden is only Luke second behind. I think Aiden is winning the race. Valentin might be like it depends on how fast Luke will be, but it might be we might be fighting for podium right now, guys. We might be fighting for podium right now. Hey, this is insane race. This is absolutely insane race. We need to catch 14 seconds. We need to catch 14 seconds in the next 5 to 10 minutes. Somehow. I be behind the behind me and George are my biggest enemies right now. And George is faster, you know, so it's gonna be tough. My thighs are really melting for me. I have too much fuel. Laps, I need to pin again? No, mate. No, no, no. When it's gonna be really needed, I will pin. When the track will be really dry, I will pin. Do one from the right head. We're doing three seconds faster. Come on! Put down the tires. Oh, we go. Ah, it's a shame I have a wrong pressures. Aiden getting Luke now, his love. Oh, he got him now. He got him now. On the OP. <laughs> That's very currently be 5 overall. But uh, George is gonna get us. There's definitely two cars that pit it already. So they will be probably ahead of us, but the, the George is much faster now. I don't know if I have too much fuel or something, but uh, yeah, I'm. Not that fast right now. We are not racing. Keep it up. Still halfway. We are just halfway in the race. I feel like we are driving for like an hour, uh, two hours. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for leaving like and subscribing. What a race today! This is like scripted race. I think Luke will be pitting in like five minutes approx. He has to fit as late as possible to have best tires for the next stint. 
And he said he took like 80 liters or something, 90 liters, so he for sure have a fuel. I cannot go any faster right now. There's definitely something we have different between me and George. Like me and Vala had the same pace almost the whole stint. I lost just a little bit left and right. But the problem I have with the tires is since the beginning of my stint, my left side was like 2 PSI too high and I took a little bit too much fuel. So as you can see, the left tires are completely burning. But my left side tires are burning down. It's because we are running also low brake ducks, you know, so the wet tires are just not liking this. I really hope I will not get a puncture, that would be really dumb. But I'm driving like just a short stint. BMW coming back. Car on the right. Yeah, the Bimmer pick up the pace now. Car on the right. Because my tires are just too hot, you know. And I probably have too much fuel right now, at this point. But like, five laps, you know? I feel like the tire is the biggest problem for me right now. That's the biggest problem for me right now, guys. That uh, my tire is just so hot. Plus the fuel. But so far, the strategy helped me big time. Just need to keep the beamer behind us. Come on, come on! Still early for snakes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cold, you know, so I would give it like five more laps. But as you can see, the drop on my pace is massive. The six are faster now? I don't think so. That'll be grain to oblivion. Thank you so much guys for watching. Look right at 9 seconds ahead. I mean the fresh slicks might be fast, but I don't think they will be faster. How much fuel does George has guys? Same fuel, okay. The Ferrari behind seems to be fast, but he has a 10 second penalty. It's good. Man, losing six tenths per up now.
Benny knows what is the base of Michael races because he's on a fresh slicks. But here it's still pretty much wet. You know what actually hurt me the most? The left side pressures being 1.5 psi too high, the whole stint. They were hot all the time. So therefore, my, my left side wets are gone, you know? You can see it in the right hand of corners. Come on, come on! I think yeah, Valet can actually win this race. I think Valet can actually win this race. What an epic race, guys. What an epic race. Many dead. Okay, so the, the, the wets are still faster at this point. Okay, that's good to know. Right, pulling away from the BMW. Ferrari catching no. Maybe George and the Ferrari are on a higher brake ducks or something. No, good pace. But Whitehead still six seconds ahead. He's holding well right now. As my left side whites are gone. I don't have any tread there. <laughs> I'm really afraid of the blow, like getting punctured. It's very easy to get a puncture now. This is not for six, no, no, no. In the left-handed corners, I have so much more grip. Okay, track is greasy now. I'm catching only second, but lap on the uh, right head. I mean, like. Two free laps, two four laps, Max. Have a really good pace, though. Let's go, let's go. wet though. I would say like two free laps tops. But I'm really afraid of my left tires because they are really, really bad. You can see how the car is drifting into the right hand corners big time. We are about to do pace with the leaders though.
Somebody please keep me updated on Michael Race's pace. Tell me when he's faster. The Vettars are now uh, dying. Is the little racist space? I'm pitting now, guys. I'm not trusting those left-hander tires. Those left tires are dead. Like, I, I would like to know how much tread was left, but those tires were gone. Is this Valentin? Yes. Definitely, like, I would stay for one more lap at least, but Aiden and Valet pitted as well, so... Oh, it's gonna be so close, guys. The BMW is like three seconds behind. I'm really afraid of him. I don't know where Michael races is, but his stars will be bad. Uh, and so on. Actually, look why it's still out. I think this was a good call, though. I think this was like a safe call. Come on, let's go. Yo, Gregor! <laughs> Definitely wet strategy was better right now at this point for winning the race. Oh, we are so far behind Valentin. Damn. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Yes, Tommy, they were drifting like crazy. Oh, Michael Thomas is there. Oh. Oh, he's far ahead then. Right, let's see. Be careful on those wall warnings. First two laps. Okay, six seconds to micro races. That is gonna be almost impossible to catch. But my darts might be better. And he's around Luke Whitehead pace, so let's see. Oh my god, this is not wet tires. Still pretty wet, to be fair, for the slicks. But uh, I don't think my tires would last. I don't think my tires would last. Oh, 10 second penalty for... Wait, what? Oh, that's... Never mind, it's the car ahead. Never mind. I thought it's a for position. The, the BMW ahead of us will have really bad tires right now. So our biggest enemy is the BMW behind, 3 seconds, and George. Okay, look at it. Man, what a race, guys. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Like, spicy race like this. 
<laughs> we haven't had the race like this in a long time. And basically two strategies were impossible to work today. Oh my god, George is right there! You can overtake me back on the straight! Come on, you can wait! Fat Lexus! <laughs> I'm really afraid of the Beamer behind me, guys. He started P2. And in a dry, he will be faster. And it's still 28 minutes to go. It was unlucky we lost like a second here. I really am afraid of the bimmer behind. Okay, we are P7, it's so bad. What a great race. What a great race, guys. The beamer behind me is 100% good against me, I think. We are pussy, wait, we are pussy, don't worry. We are pussy, boys. Oh my god, the Bimmer was one second faster. George, push, please! George, please push! Please! Please, George, push! Please! Bro! No! We are losing time here, guys! We are losing time! Ah! Guys, the Vimmer is gonna get us because of George! He's too slow in the corners with the Lexus! Oh, George, push, please, please push, please push, because it's wet, uh, Dale. Oh my god, another second call be the car behind. We gotta get taken by the Bimba behind. He was second fastest, you know, in the poly. Am I not overtake him? I cannot overtake him, he's too fast on the straight. Car on the left. Oh, 
just letting me go. Just letting me go. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if you can run away. Thank you, George. Maybe when his stars will come back, he's gonna come get me back, you know? I think he maybe have a, like a higher braid deck, so his stars are colder than mine. So that's why he's slow in the corners. Let's go, let's go. I let him go before, he let me go back, that's very nice. Teamwork, boys, teamwork. Teamwork is a dream work, you know? I let him go before, he let me go now. Right, we are catching P5. Come on. Go. <gasps> Valentin go drive through. Valentin threw it away. Valentin threw away P2 in this race. Guys, Valentin just threw P2 away. Wait, we might be almost on the podium. Oh, we might be fighting for a podium in, if he catches the Bimmer ahead. And the Bimmer will not overtake me. If the Bimmer will not overtake me, we can fight for a podium if he catches four seconds. Because Chris Warner will definitely have to pay it, I think. He's on a wet. He must be on a wet. He's losing four seconds per lap. Right, this is gonna be interesting, guys. This is this is spicy race. This is spicy race. It is on like a wrecking ball. I hope George will not let the BMW go. George will have a better pace when his stars will uh, get warm, you know? We are catching second pull up on Michael Thomas. Push, 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 push. This is gonna be spicy end of the race. I smell it, guys. Come on! I need this. I need this. Come on. I need a good, good fun ending. Yellow flag is set to Oh, Chris pitting. We are even faster than Luke Whitehead right now. Oh, 1.7 seconds faster than the guy ahead. Let's go. I think Valentin really wanted to win the race. He's only three seconds behind Aiden. 
I'm actually faster than him. I actually caught up like one and a half second on the falling team. I might be fastest on track right now, guys. I might be actually fastest on track. My pressure's in all, probably working well. Come on, come on, come on. 14 seconds behind the leader, guys. I caught up two seconds. So I'm the fastest on track right now. It's all if we can overtake the BMW quick. That's all about it. That's all about it, guys. Let's go. Leave a like, guys. Subscribe. Thank you. What an amazing variable condition race. No matter what's going to happen in the next 17 minutes, this is epic race. I hope Michael races will not be fighting because I can actually catch Luke Wilder. It's a fight for podium right now, guys. The Valentin has a drive through. This is fight for podium right now. B4, B4. Come on, Aston, come on. This is P3 fight, this is P3 fight, guys. Are you slowing down? Oh, just go, we P3, we P3. Thank you, Michael, thank you. Thank you. We have so much better gap right now. He, he's 1.5 seconds so we'll up, you know. Let's go, guys. We are P3. 15 minutes to go. We start P10. I love these variable conditions. We might catch even Luke White at if you are going to go well. Got up two seconds almost. Let's go. I need this, guys. I need this. <laughs> Let's go. What a race. <sighs> Just bring it on now. Like, obviously, try to push because George is close and the BMW is close. So let's just push. I always told you guys, these variable condition races are the best, no matter what. Ooh, Christian, let's go. Okay, we are pulling away from George. Oh, man, I'm so glad George let me go. I mean, I let him go in the rain, he let me go in the dry. That's this nice. It's a shame, guys, you know what's a shame? Uh, AOR doesn't have a drop round, unfortunately, and I missed the last race.
Ne, Martine, jo, jo, jo. Nice space. There's no way George will let the other people go. So George will be able to keep him behind, most likely. And he will overtake Michael Thomas probably in this lap, easy. We literally have the winning pace today, guys. I just probably screw up in that one part of the race where I had too much fuel, you know, and I, like the beginning of the race. I had too much fuel and I lost so much time. If I would start the race with like 40 liters, I could have been six seconds ahead where I'm right now, you know? And then in the rain, I was cooking the left tires a lot. Right, 12 more minutes. George is just overtaking the bimmer. Nice, George behind. Top four Veloce Esport. Top four Veloce Esport right now. Could have been top five if Ale wouldn't get the drive through. I'm not using the grip into the first corner. You mean the entry on the right? Because the, the Aston bounces there too much. now but my pace is not that good anymore compared to the others ahead but right, just don't throw this away guys don't throw this away Going, guys, 10 more minutes. Don't throw it away. Come on, George, hold the P4 and it's gonna be perfect. Pala is P10, summer P12. Nice. Anybody wonders if anybody just watching, joining the stream? We started on P10. It was very close quality. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You kidding me? That was off track? I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Right, okay. Let's not bottle it. Let's not bottle it in the next nine minutes, guys. What the fuck? <gasps> George got drive through. George just got drive through. No. No! No way! He probably did the same thing! He probably did the same thing! Rain in three minutes. Living on the edge, guys. I can't believe George just got drive through. He probably did the same. Right, quick highlight. Quick highlight. He started on P10. It was raining in 30 minutes, but it started raining in 10 minutes. So I, just to be safe, I took 80 liters. So I was very heavy. And we basically paid it in 10 minutes, you know? Uh, and I took. A little bit too much fuel again, and a little bit too bad pressures, but in the rain I was driving very well. And there were some people who didn't pit, they were stuck on the slicks. And we got all of them except with Whitehead. And right now we are currently P3 because the track dried out and we pit it again. 
free warnings now. Not good, not good. I can't believe I got a warning in that stupid exit there. I can't believe George could drive through, damn it. Yeah, we'll take it easy, guys, for the next four or five laps. No need to push. No need to push anymore. Pushes are good as well. Nice. Too much on the edge. George got scammed? Oh no. Well, I'm just gonna take it easy now, you know. What happened to Bala? He'll drive through. And George as well. And I'm on the last warning. now. No, it's just to pin this love. But I'm just driving save now. I'm just driving save now. I toast to full. Full wing, mate. So a, this is a full wing track for this car. Audi and Merc, same. My pace in the practice was 51.9 in these conditions, in dry. Race pace was 52.7. This race feels like, for me, it's like four hours. <laughs> uh, there's a wind, 90 km wind. Oh, Him to be on the yeah, but you have three, four seconds. It's fine. I just need to make sure not to get a drive. I can't believe Aiden's gonna win another race after all what happened. <laughs> and although, at the same time, guys, you know what I'm actually sad? I had a really good position in the championship, but I missed the last race because I was away. And uh, there's no drop round in AOR, unfortunately. So that's really unfortunate for me. And the pressure's are perfect. Yeah, Dave, yeah, yeah. problem with Aston, the reason why you don't run lower wing on Aston is because you have to short shift the car before like like 7000 RPM because the car drops massive power after 7000 RPM. 
So basically, if I would go rank zero on this track, what would happen? I will explain. Let me, give me a sec. If I would go minimum wing on Aston, obviously I would have no grip here. But what would happen on this straight? I would hit 281 or 282 kilometers very early, and then I would not. Imp nothing would happen because the car doesn't go over 7,100 RPM. It just does. It's just uh, you know. You can basically see it here as well. Look how quick I'm going up and now stopped. It's one of the bad things about Aston. You cannot basically... You basically... Open only on the Monza you use no wing. Basically have like... I don't know, it has like no power over 7100 RPM. So you can literally see how quickly I'm going to 780 and then it just stops. Nissan, Nissan does the same, yeah, Nissan does the same. Bentley, I think, might as well. Okay, two laps to go, guys, two laps to go. Oh, Chris Warner just got 15 second penalty, I think. So basically, with Aston Martin, there's no point running lower wing, you know? Yeah, Chris Warner got 15 second penalty. Guys, I'm just taking it easy, two laps to go. I'm just taking it easy now. can lose 10 positions by one little mistake, so... Would it be a gearing issue? No, 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 it's not a gearing issue, it's the, it's the power issue. That's why I'm short shifting this car, you know? It's the same for Nissan GDR, exactly the same. No sideways, no, you will literally will not gain anything. You will not gain anything at all. And you would lose so much in the first and last sector, you know? Yeah, Nigel, yeah, he is, he is. Beautiful fuel calculation, by the way. Thank you very much. Literally, the only mistake I have done today, or this race, I mean, most of the drivers did it very similar, but if I would take 40 liters for the start, 30 liters for the start, risk it, I could have... Uh, I could have been like, I don't know, 10 seconds ahead where I'm now, maybe 7, 8 seconds ahead where I'm right now. And then in the rain, my left tire pressures were like 1 PSI, up to 5 PSI too high the whole time. So my tires were dying really quickly, if you guys remember. I was like really on a good pace and then suddenly I just started dying. It's because since 1.95 version of the game, the, the tires in the wet are dying way faster. Also, medium rain in 30. Lol. Lol. What a race! What a race! Okay, let's bring it home. Also, I'm the fastest Aston right now. Let's go. I was definitely the fastest Aston after the pit stop. If you guys remember, I was literally faster than anybody else. I was actually catching the leaders too, but now they are faster, by far. Like Luke Whitehead, Aiden, by far faster than me right now. But if you guys remember, the first seven laps after the pits, when we went on the dry tires, I was the fastest guy on track. Aston Supremacy, <laughs> let's go Dave. Let's bring it home. Michael Thomas still P5. Nice. Valet P8. Nice. Oh, Valet P7. Valet P7, actually. Let's go. George. Where's George? P14. <gasps> George was so much more. George was so much more. Wow. <gasps> oh, oh my god. It's a back marker. Oh my god. I thought it was a Luke Whitehead. Oh my god, I thought it was a Luke Whitehead for a second, guys. I, I thought it's a Luke Whitehead for a second. I was like, what the hell? No way. Last lap. But it was P29. Hello, Lando. Hi. Oh, well, I just put the P7. Oh. Aston Supremacy. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Dave, thank you. Let's go, boys. Thank you so much. All the members, guys. Thank you very much for leaving a like. Well, I will get a penalty. Oh, shit. 
I hate it winning the race, guys. Top 3 Valotje. It could have been top 5 Valotje, but it's top 3 Valotje. George and Valet both go drive through. Ooh, yes! I needed this! I needed this! What a race! Yes! Yes! Oh my god. P3, guys. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Yo, GG boys! <laughs> GG, well done! GG. Hey, well done, guys, well done. What a race! God damn it. Oh. God damn it. I got scammed. <sighs> Man, I was pushing, like, and, like, I didn't even know what to do Man, I was so freaking fast when it dry out on the dry towers, but holy shit, now GG. in the last 10 minutes, so bad. Yo, GG's are such a shame, bro! Yeah. Oh. We have a premium member here. It is what it is. Oh, what a shame. Just Man, what a crazy race. race. Can every race be like this, please? No, yeah, no, that, was, no. <laughs> that was sick. No, that, that was, was so sick. good to finally have a two stop. That was so nice. That was so much fun with the two stops. <laughs> you guys made the two stops. <laughs> well, that was fun. Oh, he's wrecking me. He's wrecking me. <laughs> Race ban, next race for Jadio. <laughs> oh. Oh. Reported and deported. Reported kill. <laughs> Can't believe one not again won. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <guy. laughs> Oh my god, what a race, that was insane. Thank you, George, for, let, thank you George for letting me go back, man. Ooh, I got so lucky that George decided, like, I let George go in the rain and then he let me go on a dry. I was so lucky because that Lexus is impossible to overtake. <laughs> uh, so, one p 7 is not bad in the end. At, like, at least, like, a little safe. Yeah. If I don't get a penalty, that is. Oh, dude, watch my lap 37 out of turn two. I was so close to getting the drive through. Oh, mate, like, I, I got... literally slammed on the brakes and like almost stopped because I was so scared. <laughs> I got my last <laughs> warning seven minutes to go. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was on three, like right from the start. Oh, what? <laughs> Yeah, well, driving on slicks in the rain is not easy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, what a race. I got like my uh, first warning like second lap. I was like, I think if it was careful. Literally, <laughs> I think it was literally, if it was literally like one or two degrees warmer, it would have worked for me. Like, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Degrees, but... uh, that was, yeah. For me, that was lap 34. That was I, mean, I go a bit white. At least when I went my patience there, regardless of how my car is, nine mini kilos under box, you know, it's I'm, yeah, patience there. And the car felt good, set up for good, so. Just yeah. need to, well, learning lessons. I tried something because I wanted to see if it worked. If it didn't work, then I learned something. If it does work, then everyone learns something. Yeah. So. I mean, I mean, honestly, like if the race will be five to seven degrees hotter, I'm sure the drives would be much better call. I don't even think that much. I think literally a couple of degrees. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it really doesn't need to, just enough for your wets to overheat a bit more and my drives. To yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was really having nice. the problem because so, so the problem was for me personally, because we were running two, two ducks. My yeah. my wet tires, so my left side tires were one one like one point five brake psi too high than the right, and literally the whole stint, my left side was like hotter, like very hot, and then literally the last I don't know twenty minutes, I was or the last ten minutes, I was driving on a pitch red left left tires, and I could not barely drive, you know, like that was that was so difficult. Like I I literally had to pit. I wanted to pit like a little bit later. But I had to pit so much earlier because um, my my left side tires were completely fucked up. Like I could not stay on like I could not basically hold the car anymore. Look at my lap thirty four, exit of turn two. Yeah, lap that's, 30, that's, I think lap thirty seven. So I got my that's how I got my drive through. Like, I thought I thought I, I thought it was breaking enough there. But apparently, what? it wasn't enough. What lap? Yeah. Holy shit. I, um, for, for me, it was not 37. Like, I what, 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 what? broke and downshifted. 34. <laughs> what? Turn 2. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mine was turn 2 as well. Like, I need so, to that, 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 that was, was that in the time gain, Luke, then? Wait, this, uh, wasn't, yes. this was not enough, this slowdown. 
Nope, wasn't enough. Wait, which one is Luke? 37? 37. 37. Yeah. Luke, Luke is losing as much speed as I do. Oh, but I like what the hell? sound of the brakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think probably because Luke smashed the brake more aggressively. Come on. And sooner, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is one okay. It's basically as soon as I went four wheels off, I was like, oh, okay, let's compare. Was it 34? Yeah. Oh yeah, so I think, the, thing, I think the difference is that Luke smashes the brake while he's still touching that uh, that thing, you know? But Vale, like, lasts like 10, 15 meters later. So I think that's made a difference. I got to buy second warning following George. I was like, and fuck. The difference <laughs> is probably... Also, back. one of the differences probably that because it's, it's, it's when the truck was getting quicker and quicker, uh, mm -hmm. I was already six tenths up on the exit of yeah, turn two. Yeah, exactly. That was the that was the problem so. for me too. Yo, George. By the way, thank you for uh, letting me go in the end. Hey, no worries. You, I had so much more pace, so it's just. Yeah. I let you go in the in the wet, and then you let me go in the dry. <laughs> but man, that was that was crazy race. Uh, but my drive through is so sad. Wait, wait, I, wait, obviously, wait. I got three warnings before. I got the last you warning, had... and you, I want to see if it's in the same corner because I got the last warning, and you instantly go drive through. Yeah. So lap forty. And it's like when you go into the like entering the left hander, Wait, like it, it, yeah, it's like an insta drive through. Cause I, I basically went too wide going into a, the left hander. So you know, like you know, you know, you know the right hand curb you pull, it like kinks yeah, yeah, yeah. right, and yeah, yeah. you've got the slow left for the final corner. I went too wide there. Oh, I see. So if you look at it, I'm like I'm Millimeter. still on the white line, yeah. but I think because the Lexus is a bit wide. Compared to like Fiat and the Mecca, it like counted it as an off track. I see, because your front tire is like too far, but the, the rear the front is still tire good. Is the rear is still good. Far, right? Yeah, the rear is fine. But I, I, I just had no idea. So, oh, okay. I got a, <laughs> I got a warning in the fast right hander before, so I want to see as well. Oh, you dude, you're, you're literally on the line. You're so much on the edge. Okay, and the same lap, I got a warning, last warning. I want to see as well. Scammed. <laughs> I want to see my, how far I was because he didn't fail that much. Was I? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit too much. Wait, is it the same? Dude, I got the same as you, but I have literally on three tires on track, you know? No, never mind, never mind. I, I went off like two centimeters. Oh, it didn't look like that from one word. Man, what a race. Like I, I started with 90, on oh, like 87 liters and I was so slow at the beginning because of it. I started with 90 as well. Oh. But I was, you were fast. I was slower, you know. And then, uh, and then uh, that rain. I was so fast in that rain, but at the beginning. But then, my tires were like my left tires were like yellow all the time. And uh, even though I was cooling them down, and the tires just died. And the last like last six laps, the the right hander after the first sector, I was just going sideways. I could not <laughs> keep the car on track. I was actually missing one liter of fuel to do one more lap on the wets because, and if I would have had that one liter of fuel more, I would have done that lap extra. Oh, I because couldn't, I couldn't. I would probably get a on, puncture. At, at the end on the wets, on overheated wet tires, I was actually quite a lot quicker than Aiden. Yeah, like George was flying. He was so fast in those. Like I, I just, I literally didn't have any tires left, and George was just going, going, going. It's weird because, like, I'd have thought in those wet conditions, right, where it's the hot tires getting hot, I thought I'd suck because the front tires and the Lexus get so hot. <laughs> and then I thought I'd be quick when I put the slicks on, but it was the exact opposite. Oh, wow. like, as soon as I put the slicks on, it was like I was, it's like I'd still on the wets. What what Dikes <laughs> did you do? Two two. Yeah. Okay, so maybe that's weird. I was I was I, I was thinking like because your pace was so bad, I was like maybe he's uh, maybe you're like on free free ducks or something, you know? Because that was so so weird. I got every single of my warnings and drive through included on the exit of turn two. Now, oh, by the way, if you didn't see Valo did a murder as well. I saw. Yeah, yep. I saw. Yeah. Also, Summer, nice comeback, nice, up. man, you were flying in the red, right? Big time. Yeah, I mean, I did my my 30-hour stream yesterday, I showed 
showed itself. I drove the entire <laughs> race in the dry on one PSI, two low tires. Oh, in no. the first stint, I didn't notice. And then the second stint, I matched pressures. I had like 25 pressures on the fronts. <laughs> Yo, Michael races A, GG. I, I went for three ducts as well. So. Oh, okay, okay. Uh... That hurt. Man, that was a crazy race. I, that, that, I think we got lucky. If it would be like two, three degrees hotter, then the, the dries uh, would be better call. It would be very close. This race was actually very close to that Paul Ricard that Luke was talking about before. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is kind of silly, though, that it's even viable to do that shit. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know. Like, like, the the yeah. slick should be yeah. so You should fun. be spinning and going straight. And yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly man. that. It should be like 10 seconds slower, not not three, you know? Not, not two. Yeah. Like, literally the last... I think it was three laps before we were pitting. Luke was only a second slower compared to Wes. Not even, no, no, he was like seven times slower only. <sighs> like two laps before, three, two laps, and one lap before Luke, for me, was like a bit over one second slower, like 1.5. <laughs> That's crazy. Guys. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, that was a good race. That was really amazing race, guys. Um, Yes, tomorrow, when you go... Tomorrow is the Red right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> guys, tomorrow we are doing the Driver Swap Series with the Mathieu. Uh Wednesday, I will most likely take off, guys. I need to deal with a lot of, lot of, lot of things. And Thursday, we have an LFM Pro. And if everything goes well, if all goes well, guys, on Friday, there might be like an announcement video or stream. I still haven't decided. We'll see. And... Um, and then we'll see, guys. We'll see. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Appreciate all the love, all the support, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, talk to you guys. Talk to you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys, with Ren Wilton.